Getting by Michael Dude and Philippe Verndelin. Coming up next, there's the glory belt these two warriors will fight for. That's coming up next. Glory 9 here in New York City. $200,000 grand prize is on the line in this light heavyweight tournament. We are set as our combatants head into the glory ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's all come down to this. Your main event of the evening as Glory Sports International, the world's premier kickboxing organization, presents the Glory Light Heavyweight Slam Tournament World Championship. And with it, a check for $200,000. And now, America, it's time for Glory! In his semifinal bout, he took on the number two ranked light heavyweight, backing up his opponent in a very technical matchup, but then picked his spots late in the fight, landing big combinations. He won by unanimous decision. Here comes Tyron Spall. Tyrone Spong looking to prove to the world that he is the best striker in both the heavyweight and light heavyweight division. He has the chance to prove it in the light heavyweight division as he enters the finals. Great opportunity for him. Yeah, he's coming in with a lot of momentum and a lot of good luck in some ways. I mean, I, I gotta say that he had something to do with that luck when he knocked out Duke early. Uh, his, his second fight uh, against Berlinden, he didn't get that hurt, so he's got a lot less ring time than Aluga. His opponent survived an early flurry from his semifinal opponent, but used his ring experience and devastating low kicks to take a unanimous decision. Please welcome back to the glory ring, Daniel Ilunga. fought six rounds in 18 minutes of action. Daniel Alunga looks to prove to Tyrone Spawn that he is really the number one light heavyweight in the glory rankings. Daniel Alunga with those 18 minutes and those uh, six big rounds is gonna come in here theoretically with an energy deficit, which is gonna really and make an uphill battle to beat Tyrone Spong. But if anyone can do it, the number one light heavyweight can on paper. But then let's see what happens in reality. The toughest tournament on earth comes down to this. The slam final between Daniel Alunga and Tyrone Spong. It doesn't get any better than this. No, it doesn't. Both guys about the same age, about the same height. Uh, Tyrone Spong's got the experience, and he's fresh. He's got a big punch. So Alunga better be very elusive and busy at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen,
We begin in the blue corner. He now has run his professional record to 88 wins and five losses, 58 big knockouts at 1.88 meters, six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 94.8 kilos, 209 pounds, representing Suriname. He is the number four ranked heavyweight in the world tonight, fighting at light heavyweight. Here again is Tyrone, king of the ring, Spock. His opponent fighting out of the red corner with a record of 53 wins and four losses at 1.91 meters, six feet three inches tall, weighing it at 94.4 kilograms, 208 pounds. He represents Germany, ranked number one in the world in the light heavyweight ranks. Here again, Daniel De And your referee is Mufadel El Ghazawi. Fight us. Well, you guys, so glory rolls, no elbow, no hot butt, no holding, no place. Okay, check out, good luck. Go back. Judge, judge, judge. into the tournament as the favorites and they meet in the finals. Daniel Alunga and Tyrone Spong. Oh, and right nice. away Spong delivers a crushing shot. Yeah. It goes to work on Alunga. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's a stoppage. He was rocked really bad. He, he was rocked really bad. They cut that uh, punch high in the temple. Uh, you know, it's honestly, it's a premature stoppage. Wow! Uh, you know, uh, he rocked him. Uh, it was the thing where the Booba wants to go out on a shield. Didn't have that opportunity. Booba Dell is a really good referee, too. But it was the thing where... Daniel and Luga can't believe it. El Ghazali stops that fight after one shot. Yeah. Not... The dramatic fashion we were expecting, but that man, Tyrone Spong, is your Glory 9 light heavyweight champion. Let's check it out in real time. Okay, it's a right hand coming for Tyrone Spong right there. And Dabuba is really, you know. He's covering up. Honestly. He's it, covering it, it was, up. It was a premature stoppage, and Dabuba was definitely rocked. One shot as he covers up the body shot got him. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Me. Yeah, yeah, it was, he never went down. He never, I mean, he staggered him, he stood to his ground, but he was ready to, to swarm and come back. Yeah, who knows? I, it, you yeah. want to take the fighter's safety into consideration. That is your top priority. That's uh -huh. what these guys do. I understand that they do a great job. Yeah, and you but can't... that was way too quick. Yeah, the referee's word is is law inside the ring. You have to go with that. You can't go back and do a do over. You can't. It's just the way it is. He did get hurt. He did get rocked. He wasn't out. Not trying to be overly critical, but it was a premature stoppage. Well, let's make it official. Head back into the glory ring and our ring announcer, Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. And we have an official time of 16 seconds into the opening round. When our referee, Mufadel El Ghazawi, waves this one off for your winner. And now, light heavyweight tournament slam champion, Tyrone Spahn. Tyrone. Okay, okay Tyrone. Uh, nobody w wants to have a controversial ending. Um, how are you feeling right now about that win? I'm happy, you know. I'm not the, the ref or whatever. If you want to continue, it's okay with me. I'm, I'm a fighter. I fight. And, uh, you know, he, he was clearly, you know, hit good. So I'm happy with the victory. Okay, winning the tournament, what does that mean to you? 
it's another win for me. It's another win. I'm happy. I'm a light heavyweight champ of the world now. Glory, the biggest organization worldwide. Uh, I think they put on a, a hell of a show. And uh, I want to be an ambassador for, for Glory and build up uh, the kickboxing sport in America. I know the weight cut was kind of tough for you. Uh, and you probably have designs on some guys at the heavier pastures. Who do you have in line? You got a lot of guys up there, you know, Semi Schultz, Gokan Saki, Daniel Gita. Who would you like to fight next at heavyweight? Uh, at heavyweight, I don't care. I don't care. You know, just the guys who are ranked high, somebody who motivates me. Yeah. Okay. Tyrone, once again, he is the champion tonight. He's the king of the ring, Tyrone Spong. Tyrone Spong becomes the glory, light heavyweight champion. Say what you will about Tyrone Spong. He is a talented athlete. He does mixed martial arts. He wins the light heavyweight championship tonight. Says he wants to become the first man to win in two weight classes. See if he goes back up to the heavyweight division to accomplish that $200,000 presented to Tyrone Spong in the glory belt. The hardware goes to Tyrone Spong. Well, what a U.S. debut for, Color for Glory 9, for our entire great crew here in New York City, and my broadcast partner, the fight professor, Stephen Quadros. I'm Ron Crook. Good night, everybody, from New York. <laughs>